Hey Christ Church, Father Benji here. I am excited uh, to let you know that this coming fall we're going to be starting life groups again here at Christ Church. It has been a while since we've had maybe a full-fledged uh, effort to get life groups going since the pandemic. We've had a few going over the past year, um, but we are excited this fall to kick life groups off here at Christ Church. Now I want to take this time just briefly to explain what those life groups will be like this coming fall, because they're going to be a little different than they have been in the life of the church. I think the big change to life groups, uh, one of the two big changes to life groups is that they will be geographically based. Uh, we're not going to be selecting life group based upon a book study or um, particular stations of life. We are going to be assigning folks to life groups based upon where they live. Now, why this is why are we doing this? And here's the reason why. This is what excites me a lot: is that these life groups will be multi generational. We're going to have folks together that we wouldn't normally necessarily choose uh, to be in a life group together usually, but we're going to lean into this reality that God is the one who assembles the body of Christ and he has strategically placed us through his providence throughout this city. And so we're going to lean into this a bit um, and we're going to meet together with folks at Christ Church who live near us, whether they're much older than us, a completely different situation of life or much younger than us, or whether they have kids or whether they don't have kids, whether they're married or whether they're single we're going to come together and meet um, as a body in a particular place. And so these are going to be multi-generational. We could say these are going to be multi-situations in life type groups. Um, that's really cumbersome to say, but multi-generational, multi-situations uh, in life. These are also going to be great ways for us to plug new folks into the life, uh, uh, life of this church. Uh, if they come to church, uh, in the regular attenders, we're going to be able to say, hey, where do you live? Uh, we have life group for you that's meeting near you, meeting where you live. And so uh, this will be an easy way to plug um, uh, new visitors in. And one that takes away kind of the social pressure of actually like reaching out and assign and signing up for a life group. Some people have the have the, um, the wherewithal to do that, but a lot of people will take a back seat to that. It's also a great way for us to get to um, have a growing concern for our neighbors and to minister to our neighbors. And we'll talk briefly in a minute about the ways that we can do that coming out of these geographically based life groups. So life groups this fall will be kicking off and they'll be geographically based. So you'll receive an email towards the end of July or the beginning of August letting you know the life group that you're uh, assigned to, the life group that you're in uh, with folks that live near you. Now, for some of us, that might be our life group people are further away than others because uh, we just don't have density everywhere. We have folks uh, living, um, but nonetheless, we'll be meeting together with folks uh, from Christ Church that live near us. Uh, what will life groups look like? Easy, simple, four things. When we meet together, this is what we will be doing. We will be having food, fellowship, scripture, and prayer. Uh, Stay simply. Food, fellowship, scripture, and prayer. Can everyone at home uh, say that with me? Food, fellowship, scripture, and prayer. Um, these four things really emerge out of Acts 420 or 4, 242. Sorry, a little dyslexia there. Uh, they emerge out of Acts 242. Uh, and these are kind of the backbone of what we do uh, and how we spend our life together as a church. And so uh, we'll have these times uh, together that it'll be full of food, fellowship, scripture, uh, and prayer. And then two or three times a year, we're going to ask each life group to identify a particular area in their neighborhood or where they live that they can be of service, be the hands and the feet of Jesus to their community, to their neighborhood, to their neighbors. And so uh, as you meet together, begin to pray that God will show you ways and open up ways for you and your group to minister to your neighbors and to your neighborhoods. Um, and so that'll be two to three times a year. You'll get together and do some kind of a service project, some kind of an outreach uh, to your community, to your neighborhoods. Uh, leadership of these groups. Uh, traditionally, I think life groups have largely fallen on the shoulders of one person or of one family unit. We want to disperse the leadership of these groups into three separate roles uh, so that there is a bit more of a, so this is a bit more sustainable for folks. Those three roles are one, we need to anchor home for each life group, a place to meet. And so uh, we'll need someone to fill that for each uh, life group. We'll need someone just to kind of really be the administrator in the sense of sending out an email to say, hey, we're meeting Friday 
uh, at 7 p.m. or we're meeting Saturday at 5 p.m. and we're gonna do this for a meal. We're gonna have taco bowls. Can you bring uh, X, Y, and Z? And you have a sign up for folks to contribute to the common meal together. So you need someone to provide a place to meet, a home, so that anchor home. You need someone really to be the administrator of the group, to send out the emails, to coordinate the meal or whatever you're doing, dessert. Um, and then lastly, we need someone just to gather the folks together for scripture and prayer. We're not going to be doing book studies. Uh, we're not going to be treating this as, a, as a, a main time of education for the life of the church. We're hoping to do that in an adult catechesis time whenever we can, Lord willing, uh, meet for one service and have space to do that. Uh, Lord, Lord willing, hopefully this fall. Um, but we will be, this is, so these times together as a life group are not going to be for us to read a book together. They're not going to be discussion groups. They're going to be times for us to sit down, simply hear the word of God read, and then pray to God, offer our, um, our prayer request to one another and, and intercede for one another before the throne of God. Uh, and so that's what we'll be doing this fall. These will be weekly or bi-weekly where we will gather together for food, fellowship, scripture, and prayer. Uh, and there are three, two, three times a year, we're going to go out into our neighborhoods and minister, be the hands and the feet of Jesus uh, to our neighbors. And so I'm excited about life groups this fall. I trust that you will be as well. I, of course, will be sending out uh, a longer, more detailed explanation so that if you have any uh, particular questions, hopefully that will answer them. If not, email me, call me, uh, let me know. I would love to answer any questions or concerns that you might have. And of course, I would love to get together and grab a cup of coffee or uh, grab a pint of beer uh, somewhere and discuss this, um, discuss those with you. And, uh, and as always, if you would desire to serve, uh, if you would desire to open up your home, if you would desire to uh, say, like, you know, I, I, I don't have a problem emailing folks and gathering folks and, and, and say, hey, bring this X, Y, and Z for the meal. Let me know if you'd like to be the administrator. Um, or if you don't have a problem being kind of the anchor person to lead the time of prayer. Again, nothing that needs to be prepped for. Just grab the prayer book and uh, lead us through a time of family prayer together, asking folks to share their prayer requests. If that's you, if you feel like that's something you uh, that God's wanting you to do, let me know. I'd love to plug you in or get you plugged in when we have life groups, uh, new life groups starting up here at Christ Church. And so uh, again, if you have any questions, let me know. Any concerns, let me know. Uh, but this is how we're going to be doing life groups here this fall and for a season here at Christ Church. May God bless you and keep you. May his face shine upon you. And may you always know his love and presence in your life, Christ Church. Amen.